Hello guys, today we're doing a recap video, and these are all of the movies I got on the week of Black Friday. They actually had the deals, they have deals all week. So guess what I did? I went on the very first day, Sunday, and got all the movies that I wanted to get. Of course, one of the movies that I wanted to get was not there, Back to School. School, it was not there, I was looking for that movie. Literally looking for that movie because I saw that on Amazon, so I couldn't find it. And here is the background of just three movies I found. And yep, these movies I did not get on Black Friday, obviously. Zod actually got this year, but Jurassic World I got like when it came out on Blu ray and the weed I got when it came out. Actually, days before it came out because Best Buy sipped it early. So we'll be going through alphabetical order. So the first movie, obviously, is 47 Ronin. Because numbers go before letters. That's simple as that. So 47 Ronin had Keanu Reeves in it. And that's the only reason why I wanted it. It's because it has Keanu Reeves. I like, Keanu Reeves, you have a sword, instant buy. That's really the reason why. I don't, how, how did this movie flop? It has Keanu Reeves of a sword. Okay? Keanu Reeves of a sword on the cover. I'm just dumbfounded on Hollywood audiences. But you know, they'll buy Captain Marvel. And make that garbage make a billion dollars. This sort of made a billion dollars just based off the fact that it's Keanu Reeves carrying a sword. Of course, this movie came out before John Wick, which is probably another reason why this movie is a massive flop. But come on, Keanu, it has probably one of the worst, coolest box covers of all time. All time. Okay? So that is 47 Ronin. Gonna put that away. Is that, yo? Know? Next is After Earth. So After Earth is a sci fi movie. It looked interesting, so I wanted to see it. It has Will Smith, Will Smith and his son as the main characters. And yep, sci-fi, like sci-fi. Literally two of the three movies in the background are literally sci-fi movies. Jaws is not a sci-fi movie. But Jurassic World is and the reader are both sci-fi movies. Because because he can't bring back dinosaurs, obviously. So that is After Earth. That was a pretty quick segment. Next is Doolittle. Yep, Doolittle. <laughs> I got this movie. It was actually a pretty fun time watching it. I have not seen all these movies yet. I'm, I have lots of other things to do like make my YouTube videos and stuff. And play video games and do other things I do in the day. So, Doolittle. It has Robert Downey Jr. in it. It has a talking duck that looks like the Affect duck. Which I find it funny that really looks like the Affect duck images. And yeah, this movie was not as cringeworthy as I thought it would be. It was actually pretty good. Not as great as these movies back here, but it's still pretty good. So next is Ford v. Ferrari. I wanted to see this movie very badly. And now I finally have my hands on Ford v. Ferrari. I want to see this movie very badly. I will, of course, get around to seeing it. Ford v. Ferrari is one of the years, last year's best movies. It's about cars. It's, it's like the other movie I saw called Russ. And that movie was pretty amazing. It had the guy from 4 in it. And this movie had the guy from Batman, the Dark Knight in it. And this movie also was a flop as well. I, I, I don't know, what's wrong with people nowadays, okay? Don't make garbage like Captain Marvel make a billion dollars, you know, Aladdin remake, The Lion King remake. But no, we won't watch this awesome movie about cows. No, thank you. Especially in the South. The South would have sort of loved this movie. Maybe that's where half the money from this movie came from was itself. Next, this is another movie I had to pick up once I saw it. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger Jingle All The Way. I got it because that's Arnold in it. And it was a pretty fun time. If you love Arnold Schwarzenegger and if you love Holidays, it is a really great movie to get. Because it has Arnold in it. And Arnold makes a holiday much better. Your, your holiday will be much more fulfilled with Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. And yeah, this Black Friday fun is definitely much better than last year's. So I only got Spider-Man Far From Home. Yep. Spider-Man Far From Home. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. Spider-Man Far From Home. Next is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I also got, I got this film as well. It was only $10. Here. And it has Leonardo DiCaprio in it. I do not, I have not really, the only Tarantino movies I've seen was Kill Bill 1 and 2. Those movies are good. This movie hopefully will be good. This movie is still sort of than Endgame. I want to create this movie is still sort of than Endgame. <laughs> okay. 
and Endgame was not nominated for Best Picture. So this proves Matt Pat's dumb, stupid theory that longer movies equals more Oscars. Because Endgame was not nominated for Best Picture, but Endgame was longer as well. So yeah, this is that. Yeah, this movie is like two hours and forty minutes long according to one time, but it's still shorter than Endgame. Because of course Hollywood movies now they have like ten minutes of credits that you know. No one wants to see because nobody cares about the credits. Next is well breaks the internet. Eh, it's okay. I got it. It was like ten dollars. Like oh well, fun was good. Bill games. Someone else wanted. Wanted some. Some a member of my family wanted this movie. So I said okay, fine, get it. It's bland. It's okay. It's not the best movie in the world. It's not eighty eight percent. Were got on Rotten Tomatoes does not deserve its eighty eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes. You know, it's definitely very overrated compared to Rotten Tomatoes, but most people just follow it as okay. It wasn't that great. You know, the first movie is better. Sequels usually always suck, mostly are worse. With, uh, with... There were, of course, giant exceptions like Godzilla King of the Monsters. That came out, and that one was definitely much better than the first Godzilla movie. Because it actually had Godzilla fighting mo- more than just 10 minutes in the movie, so... <laughs> So, yep, and the last movie, yep, we're going by alphabetical order, and yep, the last movie alphabetically is Star Wars, yep. I have all these Star Wars movies now, so I had to get it, because it's all, I have every Star Wars movie, and I kept the trying to get it on DVD, because I had all the other Star Wars movies, as I saw in the unboxing video, as well. Basically, I have every single Star Wars movie, besides Solo, which, again, I'm not counting spinoffs, I'm talking about the main series Star Wars movies, it's like, you know, Saying, it's like, you know, saying, oh, I have every single Alien movie. And then people are like, oh, but what about, uh, you know, Alien vs. Predator? I was like, oh, every actually actual canon Alien movie, not the non-canon or spin-off Alien movies. But you gotta get those ones because they are, you know, the sequel. Because they're alien, because they have aliens in it. And, oh, but we don't need the, yeah. And it's definitely much less than 2018, but... Yeah, got a lot of movies in 2018. You you have been like jaw broken if you saw my 2018 one. And this is and I'm surprised I got even eight movies because I actually almost got another movie called Kindergarten Cop, but I decided not to get because I had, cause I because I didn't want to use all my money. I had to use my money for some other things like you know actual groceries and stuff. Actual food for things we had to use our food, uh, other groceries for actual food, like uh, for Thanksgiving and stuff. And yeah, only two movies came with swips. Only two. <laughs> only two movies came with swips. And you know, these movies have swips in Dodge DVD, God for four dollars, but there we go. All these movies have swips. All the all but two, all, all, all but two of these movies have no swips. As well. So, yep, there's all the movies I got. So, if you really want... Okay, I, 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 I'm having trouble carrying it. Carrying these movies. You know, I'm having trouble carrying these movies. Okay, I'll put, I'll put them in... Okay, I'll, I'll put them in alphabetical order. Yeah. Here. I still cannot fix it. I still cannot fix it. There we go. Alphabetical order. And there we go. Those are all the movies I got. And yeah, for a few of these movies were in the five dollar section. So after Earth Forty Seven Ronin were in the five dollar section. Jingle All the Way was only seven along with Do It was only eight. And most of these movies are mostly just ten. Mostly just ten. You know. <laughs> Yeah, I also, oh, yeah, I yeah, I almost got Kindergarten Cop. That was the other movie I almost got. I almost got Home Alone, but I said, okay, I can just watch that on TV. Because I'll have it for free. Then all the way they won't have it on TV, because that's not considered, because it's not considered the free classic great Christmas movie, which is Elf, actually four, Christmas Story, Elf, Home Alone, and National Anthem's Christmas Vacation. So, yep, there we go. Oh, yeah, and also, oh, yeah, also Polar Express, I also have that movie as well. I also have Polar Express. So I only have that many Christmas movies. I only have have two Christmas movies, unless you don't, unless you want to not count, unless you want to count Shazam as a Christmas movie. But there we go. Yeah, I have like two. Like yeah, my, the amount of Christmas movies I have is pretty sad. So there we go. That's all the movies I got. I'm gonna I'm gonna extend this video to ten minutes. Yeah. But yep. 
more and yeah, most yeah, I got more movies than I would have probably imagined I got. Maybe next year when there's actual movies coming out, I could actually get movies. And yep, not and yes, there are some movies that I could have got ready to got Black Friday, but I had to get them when they came out like Sonic. I'm not gonna wait until November to buy it to got to get the Sonic Blu-ray. No, I have to get Sonic when it comes out. Same with Jumanji. I'm not gonna wait until November to get Jumanji or Sonic. You know, same thing with Godzilla. I'm going to get Godzilla vs. Kong when it launches on Blu-ray because I want to see it right away. Okay, I want to see Godzilla and his goriness like right away. You know, same thing with Jurassic World Dominion. You know, all the important movies. The rest, the rest important movies can be bought on Black Friday. The U.S. important movies. Like the big, you know, like the, all the big movies can be bought not on Black Friday. So that's basically it. Goodbye.